So, okay, hi, how are you? Hope you're doing well. I only have about 10 minutes <laughs> on this SD card, so or in this battery, so I have to make it quick. Hi, how you been? So I thought I would get on here and update you real quick to let you know that I'm alive and I'm still breathing. I mentioned in my last video that I wasn't sure I was gonna pick a word of the year, but I thought mm, maybe I should pick breathe. And then someone in the comments says, I think breathe should be your word of the year. And I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. I can barely remember my name. So for those of you who may be new, hi, my name is Misty. My life was literally turned upside down in December when my neurologist decided that um, after treating me for four and a half years, she thinks she's misdiagnosed me and I've been mistreated for four and a half years. Um, and I have to go through all the testing that I did in 2017 again, and I see a new neurologist in March. So yeah, it's been a lot of eating. <laughs> it's been a lot of spending. I will say the one good thing about being on this Wagovi, um, is that not only is it keeping the blood, blood sugars down, but it's also curbing. I can't binge. There's none. I can't. I literally can't eat, eat that much. But I can eat <laughs> off plan. And that's basically what I've been doing. I haven't really been eating um, low carb for the last couple of weeks. Last week, my inner five-year-old said, hey, this is what we're going to eat. And I fed her. So one night we had <laughs> tater tot yazero. Um, I had tater tots covered in sloppy joe mix. Um, yeah, I've completely not been on plan. And then, of course, I've also been buying stuff secondhand. Not a lot was spent, but those are my two biggest coping mechanisms. And they have been in full swing. Um, it's been hard. I mean, I had someone leave a comment telling me I was acting like a toddler. What do you expect of me? <laughs> How would you react if your doctor told you after four and a half years, oh, psych, psych, sorry, sorry. You thought you had this lifelong disease, but I think maybe you're just tired. How would you react? I mean, I've basically been taking medicine that could be harmful to me in the long run. How am I supposed to react? I just thought that was the dumbest damn comment, one of the ones I've ever gotten, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so that's really, that's really been the heart of it. So next, so, so, so I always say so and okay. Next Friday, the 18th is the day I go for my single fiber nerve conduction study. I probably won't get the results until I see the new neurologist the 1st of November, 1st of March. Rob has already said that he wants us to have a frank conversation with her and just let her know, hey, this is basically a job interview. Um, what you gonna do? And someone reached out to me on Instagram on my Jolly Fed Elf and said that Austin has a Mayo Clinic branch and they do. So if things don't work out with this neurologist, I see, so I see her the 1st of March. I see my regular doctor mid-March. I'm gonna talk to him about not only maybe going to the Mayo Clinic in Austin, but also getting genetic testing. I really think that's what I really need to do at this point. And um, not only to kind of figure out what's going on, but medications that I may be having issues with, etc. cetera. Um, MS was in my family. So it's been a lot and I've just been trying to breathe. We finally got our vanities. The last one got here yesterday. I'm filming this on the 10th. So construction will start on the 15th. Go us. <laughs> so it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. So yeah, my battery is going to die soon. So anyway, I just want to pop on here real quick, let you know I'm alive. I'm still breathing. Thank you for all of you who've reached out on YouTube, through email, on my Instagram. I'm just trying to breathe in and out. And that's really, I think that's really all anyone can do under these circumstances. But I love you guys so much. You are amazing. I thank you for being so supportive. And I will keep you guys updated. I am going to film before and afters for the bathroom, kind of talk you through the design process, um, what we did to make it more wheelchair accessible. So that'll be coming soon. All right, guys. Love you. Bye for now.